Hi, I'm Martin and in this self-control app tutorial I will show you how to block a website without damaging your Mac. If you are not careful when you install self-control and run self-control, you might damage your Mac. For example, this university wants their students to install the software at all for some reasons. That's why important that we have a look at what to keep in mind when we use self-control. I've prepared a short mind map for this to show you what we will cover in this video. For first, let's cover the use cases. Uh, self-control is a website blocker for studying and uh, it's really simple to use and it's really great software. It's uh, ideal if you want to write without doing any research or just want to block specific websites. For example, Facebook, YouTube, Netflix and so on. Uh, how self-control works? Self-control blocks something called the host file. Usually you can uh, decide to block some websites for a minimum of 15 minutes and up to 24 hours. It has a blacklist feature where you can enter websites one by one and you can use existing lists and then add websites however you like. And the other option is to use the whitelist that basically means you block the complete internet and you have uh, typically like one to three websites that you use for writing or your blog or w whatever you use and then everything else is blocked so you're really focused. And before you start it's important that you are really really careful because um, you have to test how the software works. I will get to that right in a minute. Um, and the most important thing is that you do not change the host file. Do not play around. Like if you commit to a block, I will show you. Like if you need to go to um, to unlock self-control, there's an easy way to do this. But uh, do not mess up with the system. Like that's something that's why the university wants uh, against using the software at all. It typically works fine. But if you try to change the settings, this might cause major damage. And the worst case is uh, you need to reinstall uh, your Mac completely and all your files are lost. And I will show you the workaround in another video. But now let's just go into uh, self-control. So you download the software here on the website selfcontrolapp.com and then uh, you basically install it. And now it's really simple. You uh, just have this simple interface and there you can just click edit the blacklist and here now I already put some some websites in here uh, but if you get rid of this and click import you just choose common distracting sites and now you have a list of websites that you can use uh, and that will be blocked later on then you can uh, yeah, remove uh, websites or add websites for example my website is findfocus.net and now uh, we can have a look for example at Facebook uh, yeah it works and now we just uh, click uh, uh, yeah click the X button here and now we can start self-control then we need to enter our admin password and now self-control is loading the website and now if you like you still have access to uh, Facebook but if you click the uh, refresh button uh, you'll get this uh, notification that Facebook cannot uh, cannot be reached and refuse to connect that's because self-control made uh, changes to your host file and now you have like this timer running uh, in this uh, system tray and now it's 15 minutes and you need to wait for 50 minutes after uh, before you can access Facebook and the other websites uh, that you have on your blacklist right now as well. While self-control is running, you can add other websites to your blacklist. For this, you just choose add to blacklist. For example, video wikipedia.org, uh, you just click add. Then you need to enter your admin password again and now you cannot even enter 
uh, wikipedia.org. Like if I just want to go to the German one, uh, you'll see it's not blocked for some reason. And that shows one of the problems with uh, self-control, like sometimes it does not work. Typically it should work if you just clear your browser history. Uh, just go here, Chrome history, clear browsing data, then clear data. And now we should not be able to go to Wikipedia, for example. Okay, now you see like this website cannot be reached. So that's another trick uh, that you need to keep in mind. You need to clear your browser cache. If you have a look uh, at my tray, you see it's right now eight o'clock in the morning, eight seven. And now I will just uh, disable self-control. Okay, I'm back here and you see right now I just disabled uh, self-control. How to do this is something I will show you in another video because if you know this trick, like the software will not work for you anymore. So um, that's why I will not share this in this video. But um, I did this to show you, you can choose the whitelist option and here uh, self-control asks if you are sure because like this will really uh, block basically everything. So, uh, but right now we do this and then we click away and then we click start and then we have to confirm again. And now basically we will be able to use Facebook, but um, we will not be able to go, for example, to this site anymore. Like, oh, for this, we need to clear our browser cache again history and now clear browsing data clear data and now we should not be able to go here anymore but facebook for example or another website that is allowed is twitter um, yeah everything is allowed but you might see some strange behavior because um, self-control does block all the websites and they might use some some other things so um, yeah this this is quite a problem when you use the whitelist approach and that's why I prefer my own software find focus which will I also explain in another video I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful let me know you if you have any questions in the comments have a great day